What's up? Welcome back to Gaming with King. And today we're playing Clash Royale. It's now global and Android and iOS. Go out there and download your Clash Royale. Get in the game. Uh, this has just been a nice game for me so far. As you can see, I'm currently at level 4. I just started 3 days ago. Um, I posted a video how to get it before the global release. So I got it before glo about a day before the global release. But anyways, I'm going to be showing you my deck. It's been doing me very well. I'm now in Arena 4. A very hard battle to get there. Defeating level 5 and level 6 players all over the place. So I'm showing you these nice replays that I've got. Right here. Starting with this one right here. As you can see, I got two crowns win. But this was an epic battle. He was level 6. I'm level 4, King Simeon. Now, so... Here I was like, wow, level 6, this guy's going to kick my butt. But then, here I go with a cry face right there. That just sucks. So anyway, he drops a mini pecker with a baby dragon on the left side of the screen. So I decided to run him down with my prince on the right side of the screen. There goes the prince doing some work. Allow that baby dragon to be taken down by my left tower right there. Here he comes with his prince. His prince is level 3 by the way. My prince is level 2. His prince is going to be doing some work on that tower. So right there in that exchange you can see that I got one of the right tower of his down to 820 health. And my t he got my tower down to 686. So I am kind of behind. But there those the skeletons taking down that right tower right there. So right here I said yes I'm going to defend and hold off this punk. And take the win right here. So I drop the bomb tower again. There goes the bomb tower taking out those spawners, those goblins and skeletons. He dropped the baby dragon. I dropped the barbier, the goblin hut right there. Trying to get those goblins out to take down that baby dragon. There he goes, taking it down. He took down my bomb tower right there. Here he comes with his prince again. I didn't have my skeleton army as yet. So I decided to drop down my prince right here to counter his prince. My prince will charge, his prince will not, so his prince takes more damage. I save my skeleton army for when he comes back around with his prince. Then my prince charges over there trying to take down his king's tower, but he drops some skeletons to distract and the king took down my prince right there. So here I come again with my defensive bomb tower, here he comes again with his pekka. It's double elixir time. He's dropping troops all over the place. I'm just trying to defend and hold on to my star. Distracting that dragon right there with the musketeer. Then he dropped his prince. Then I got the skeletons ready and waiting. There goes the skeletons. Taking down his prince. Then they heard out. He fires off a rocket. Here I go now. With a fireball and that tower right there. 30 seconds remaining, I drop my prince right there, he drops the baby dragon, the baby dragon can't slow down my prince the prince has got onto the tower, there he goes, taking down the tower 15 seconds remaining and I, right here I was so happy, I was smiling, he took down my right tower right there but right here I was smiling, here comes his prince charging in distracted by those buildings right there then that's it, 2 seconds, 1 second that's it, it was an epic win for me King Simeon a level 4 defeating a level 6 right there that was nice so let's get into this next one so as I was saying before here I am going up against 5 now when I see level 5 I don't really worry too much I can manage a level 5 but the level 6's are the guys that are giving trouble so here I go, I hit 10 elixir, I'm going to drop my bomb tower right there for defense. He drops his bomb tower also on defense. As the elixir reset, I am leading by 1 elixir. Here I come now with some spear goblins at the back. He's going to drop off a spawner right there, there it is. I'm going to run in with the musketeer, hoping she could get some hits off. Then with the giant skeleton right there. He drops his giant skeleton to counter my giant skeleton. His giant skeleton is a level 2 giant skeleton. Then he drops his prince on the opposite side. Good thing I have 
my my skeleton army right there then he's going to go with the arrows taking down skeleton army out my bomber tower is just going to take down that giant bomb after my, my that giant skeleton right there after my giant skeleton expired here he comes with the baby dragon now the baby dragon and air troops is really hard to go up with my deck because I just got uh, the skeleton army right there and the skeleton hut the um, the goblin army and the goblin hut for defense against air with my musketeer everything else I have is ground so when I get when I see a baby dragon I kinda panic a little but anyway give my give it my best shot and hope to get out the west there he goes with his giant skeleton I counter with my giant skeleton with the bomb tower doing some work on his giant skeleton right there way soft arrows right there didn't really do anything the giant bomb right there from the skeleton takes out my musketeer then my giant skeleton go down it's time for double elixir he drops his prince over there I got my skeleton army up and ready there it is with the prince take him down also got he got double bomber tower up now working on my troops here comes the baby dragon here watch those skeletons on the right side of the the, the goblins on the right side of the screen those spear goblins are going to be very good in this battle those spear, spear goblins taking their time taking down a little chunk a little chunk of that right tower piece by piece he drops his giant skeleton I count to counter my giant skeleton we make it through now the giant skeleton is going up towards the tower yes the giant skeleton has made it to the tower spear goblins now following by the prince he drops the bomber tower the prince goes after the bomber tower the giant bomb from the giant skeleton takes down that tower the 177 there comes the fireball taking it down for a one crown win and that was there he goes with his cry pace and i give him a thumbs up good game man so let's get into this next one so here we are again going up in the peckers playoffs this is level four arena going up against the level six he puts down the crying face i put down my crying face he knows he just taunted me because he's a level six and i'm a level four he's go he's thinking that he's going to destroy my destroy me right here but then i go with the spear with the spear goblins right there followed by the bomb tower he comes he's comes in coming in with his minion he's got a hog rider too followed in by spear goblins level six i got level five spear goblins i don't even i haven't even unlocked the hog rider as yet but these spear goblins are going to be doing a little work taking down pieces of tower now he drops the skeleton army right there followed in by a baby dragon i fired ball miss a few of those skeletons then I drop the musketeer to help take down that baby dragon as soon as the baby dragon locks on here I comes with another spawning building goblin hut on two sides now spawning up goblins left right and center he drops minions on the left side followed by barbarians I'm gonna put down a bomber tower just to defend I'm like just defending my life right here hoping to hold out for even a draw now the barbarian is going to be really hard to take down on that side the left side right there we're both at six elixir seven elixir resetting he wastes his fire that arrow a little waste of that arrow right there but it still did some damage here i comes with my giant skeleton there he goes wasting that skeleton army over the left side of the screen now my giant skeleton is going to make all the way up to the tower and that is going to be it for that tower followed in by the prince yes there it is right there 600 down goes that tower by the prince right there nice taking out 60 seconds double elixir here it comes it's time to charge I drop my skeleton my goblin army uh, my goblin hut right there he drops his barbarian with my bomber he also drops his hog rider he also drops a dragon and skeleton followed by a bunch of skeletons there they are 
try to take down as much of my spear goblins and my giant bomb as they can. But here comes the giant skeleton, followed by the musketeer and a bunch of goblins. And this is it. There goes a, that bomb right there. So I'm taking out a few of those troops. Here comes the prince, charging in towards that tower. He just the skeleton or trying to take out my prince. There goes the bomb tower working on those skeletons. He drops that right away. Drop my giant skeleton once more. <laughs> trying to get it over. Over there. He drops his hog rider right there. I'm trying to get that giant skeleton over towards the tower before he dies. So the giant bomb can take down the tower. The skeleton almost makes it. Here comes the prince, however. Behind the giant skeleton. And the prince will make it. And down goes that crown. <laughs> A two crown victory. For me, King Simeon, well played right there. I was waving back the cry face right there. This is awesome. You know, so i like to say thank you for watching Gaming with King. This episode of Clash Royale. And I really believe that Clash Royale has taken the attention away from Clash of Clans. And it's going to be a very epic game. A very good game. Hope to see much more in the future. So, subscribe for more Clash Royale gameplay. And see you next video.